six millimeters in length. When hydrated, it becomes soft, compressible, and tissue conforming. It's preloaded into the disposable Zen injector. The Zen injector's 27 gauge needle is double beveled to avoid the risk of perforating the conjunctiva. The injector enters the 1.8 millimeter clear corneal incision and travels across the eye to the superior nasal quadrant where the stent will be placed. The Zen gel stent creates a patented channel through the sclera, allowing aqueous humor to flow from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctival space. The Zen gel stent is positioned closer to the iris than to the endothelium, so there is no endothelial touch. The needle is inserted through the angle, creating a scleral tunnel. Markings three millimeters from the limbus were placed preoperatively on the conjunctiva to reference the exit of the needle from the sclera. When the needle exits the scleral tunnel, it should be within a half a millimeter, plus or minus, from the markings. To deploy the stent, rotate knob on the back of the injector in a counterclockwise fashion, continually keeping pressure on the angle. There is a sleeve to prevent the needle from going any further and to avoid being too short in the subconjunctival space. Complete counterclockwise rotation to deliver gel stent and slowly move injector straight back, then exit the eye. The implant swells, which prevents it from migrating from the original position it was placed in. Aqueous humor will begin to flow, creating a low-lying bleb. Remove OVD from the anterior chamber to allow full aqueous flow. The Zen gel stent is delivered into the non-dissected tenons, creating a connection from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctival space. Prime the bleb to ensure that there is a good connection between the anterior chamber and the subconjunctival space. Notice that a nice bleb is formed after priming. The bleb will develop into a low-lying area of elevation in the post-operative period. Using a gonioscope, you can see that one millimeter of the implant is placed in the anterior chamber to avoid iris or endothelial touch.